Hello everyone, my name is Jamie McQuaid from Magnet Forensics and today we've got a couple of videos to help you get started with Magnet Axiom. This is our second video and this time we're going to go through uh, doing mobile acquisition and processing with Magnet Axiom. So I've got Axiom Process up and running here. You can see the first page is the case details. I've set the folder name to mobile. Um, you can pick whatever you want. I've got our uh, drive split. Uh, one, uh, My case is on one drive and then um, my evidence files on another. It's up to you how you want to set it. Um, so I'll leave that on there and I'll leave everything else the, the default settings. We'll move over to evidence sources and like I said in the last video we loaded in a bunch of computer evidence. Uh, this video we're going to focus more on the mobile and the next video we'll talk about cloud. So uh, we'll load in some mobile data here and, uh, and take a look at how that works. So we'll choose mobile. You've got lots of options here. Android, iOS, Windows Phone, Kindle Fire, MTP devices, so like cameras and stuff like that. Um, you can load any of those in. This video we're going to focus on Android. Uh, so I've got uh, a Nexus 6, a Motorola X Nexus 6 connected to my computer here. So if I choose Android, we can see, choose to load evidence. So maybe something I've already acquired or acquire evidence if it's just a phone connected directly like we have here. So I'm going to choose acquire evidence. From here, we can choose an acquisition method. Now, this depends on how you got the device. If you have the phone unlocked and uh, you can enable USB debugging, you would go this route. If you don't have the passcode or you need to do a full physical, more advanced method, uh, you can go this route. So for the first one, we're going to do the uh, assume that we have the passcode from the user and uh, we it's all unlocked, ready to go. So I'll choose ADB unlocked. We can see the Android device is connected uh, to my computer here. It's detected, but I need to uh, trust it to the computer. So if I go onto the phone, you guys won't be able to see this, but if I turn on the phone here, it'll ask me, allow this uh, USB debugging, the RSA security footprint. Um, so I'll just say always allow and hit OK. The device should pop up here in just a second. There it is. We can see, like I said, it's a Motorola Nexus 6. It's running uh, Android 711. There's the serial number and privileged access says no. Basically, that means that we do not have root access on this device, um, which is pretty standard. So we'll check that, uh, that box off and hit next. And now we get the acquisition options. Uh, so you can choose either a quick or a full. Now the full will come up if you have privileged access to it, or it's a device that we may be able to do a software route for. This is running Android 7.1, and I know we don't have any software routes for. Typically, you'll be able to do a full uh, acquisition on Android 4, maybe some Android 5 devices, but not the, the newer ones. If you need to get uh, access to some of the newer ones, we'd have to go the more advanced bypass methods uh, that I, I spoke about earlier. For this, we're going to choose uh, quick acquisition and uh, we'll hit go and now it gets queued up here ready to go it's going to be ready to be imaged so um, we can keep adding evidence here so if I want to say go mobile I can choose uh, uh, say Android again and I maybe I had uh, an image from somewhere else I can hit load evidence and load an image here and I can browse to other images I might have uh, access to um, here's another image that I have this is a Samsung Galaxy S3 that I previously acquired it's just a raw physical image of that I can hit open it gets loaded in here ready to go as well and you can keep adding uh, other mobile sources we could also try the more advanced methods so let me remove uh, this uh, Nexus 6 and uh, plug in a different device here so just uncheck that and let's try a different method here so let's go down mobile we'll choose Android again and we'll choose acquire again but instead of uh, having an unlocked device let's choose uh, the more advanced lock bypass methods uh, we've got a few other options here for LG devices Samsung devices and a few others this I've got an LG phone in front of me so let me choose LG and we can do the LG download mode full image uh, bypass here so what this will do is if you don't have the passcode it will bypass the passcode and give you physical access to the LG LG device. So I'll just cl click it here and it kind of gives you a walkthrough for this. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have the appropriate driver. I've already got the LG drivers installed on this system, but if you don't, click here. It'll take you to the LG website and download the, uh, the proper drivers. Um, after that, you just follow through the steps and it should uh, get you uh, started with uh, the LG device. So I'll hit start. Make sure the device is unplugged. Good. I'll hit next. Make sure the device is off. That's good. I've got it off. Now put the device in download mode. For LG devices, you follow the instructions. You press and hold the volume up buttons, but while holding the volume up, um, you can insert the USB cable while holding the up button. So I'll hold up and I will insert this USB cable. Just a sec. I'll just give it a second here. And it's entering download mode. 
and it's in a firmware update download mode here. Perfect. So I'll hit next. It's going to check the drivers for me. Like I said, if you get an error here, I would try reinstalling uh, any LG drivers uh, that you might have there. Sometimes uh, drivers can cause an issue. And that's all complete. So once everything's complete there, we go down here and hit next. And now we can see there's the LG device. We can see there's the model number. It's H901. It's connected to COM port 2. If it's on a higher COM port, uh, I believe higher than uh, 9, 10, or 11, I can't remember what it said on the last screen there, um, you will need to change the COM port in your device manager. So if you go into device manager, you can change the COM port in here. Um, ours came up in COM 2, so that's no problem. I don't have to do any changes here. You've got the IMEI for it. And privileged access says yes. You remember on the last device, privileged access was no. It means we don't have root access. Well, now we have root access to the, this device. So I can hit next and it's going to give me that full search options or full acquisition options. Hit next here and there's that LG device in there ready to go. So that's how you can do a, a few different ones. We have a number of different uh, acquisition methods for Samsung devices uh, and a number of other different models. Um, but uh, depending on the, the type of device you have, the, the different options are available for you. That's everything I wanted to show for the, uh, the mobile acquisition and analysis. Uh, stay tuned for the next video that we're going to talk about cloud. Thanks for watching.